Hi, I'm Andy and welcome to my channel about crypto. In today's video, I wanted to talk about buying your first NFT or minting an NFT. The NFT market overall is picking up quite a bit at the moment, so I thought this video will be really helpful for everyone who's completely new to this. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also check out the community section where I put some polls which then help me to adjust the content to my viewers. Okay, so if you want to get your first NFT, first of all, there are two ways to do it. One is to get it on the secondary market, such as the OpenSea, which is a bit like an eBay for NFTs. The other way is to mint it. So essentially that's when a new NFT is being released and then in vast majority of cases, you go to the website of that project. And on that website, you can mint an NFT. So if we look at something like Barex here, this project actually minted a couple of months ago, but if you scroll down, you can see here, well, now it says sold out, but before there was a mint button here. So you would click on it and that would allow you to connect your wallet and then pay 0.05 ETH plus gas fee and you would be able to mint your NFT. If this doesn't make much sense right now, don't worry, I will explain it step by step. So first of all, as you can see, you need some ETH. Most NFTs are released on Ethereum blockchain and ETH or Ether is the currency that's used on that blockchain. The easiest way and cheapest way to buy it would be on one of the main centralized exchanges. Which exchange you use is entirely up to you. It may depend on the country where you live because not all exchanges are available in all countries or they may come with some restrictions, but few I could recommend are exchanges such as Gate.io, Coinbase or Binance. They're all really big exchanges. Like I said, there are many others, but as long as you're using one of the main popular ones, and you are definitely safe, your funds are safe, and basically it just boils down to whichever is the easiest one to access for you. When you're first buying any cryptocurrency on an exchange, you will have to go through KYC, know your customer process, which will involve things like putting in all your details, uploading your passport or driving license, also taking a photo of yourself, usually either with a date or some sort of ID number given by the exchange and with your, with your government ID. All those steps are necessary to activate your account or to make sure that you can actually trade. And it's best to conduct them in, well in advance because when the market gets really, really busy, you may find that it may take quite a few days to do it all. So you definitely don't want to do it on the day of the mint because essentially you may lose your spot. You may miss the opportunity because it will take too long to verify your details. So make sure you prepare everything in advance. Once you set up an account on an exchange, you can then simply use your debit card or your bank account to purchase cryptocurrencies. So in this case, you would purchase some ETH. Once you do it, you then need to transfer those funds to external wallet. The wallet that works with pretty much all websites used for minting is called Metamask. It's a software wallet and it's a browser extension, so you can just simply download it for Chrome or Brave browser. And basically this wallet allows you then to connect to various websites, various protocols, and then use your ETH to, to interact with that protocol. So in this case, you would be minting an NFT. So the process is that you transfer ETH from an exchange to your MetaMask, and then you leave it there until the day of, of the mint. When the day comes, or couple of days ahead, there will be an announcement in the Discord group of, of a particular project. Be always very careful, especially when someone sends you a DM or there is a sudden, completely unexpected announcement that the date was moved to an earlier date or the price have changed or anything like that. Because very often it means that the Discord got hacked and there is some sort of scam going on. If anything is different that was announced in advance, things like price, date, amount of NFTs you can mint, you can assume that it's probably a scam and you have to be very, very careful. But assuming that it's, it all looks legit, it was announced on the Discord channel and everything is as expected, you then go to the website of the project, connect your wallet, your MetaMask wallet, and then you simply can mint your NFT so you can purchase it. Once you've done it, you won't see it in your MetaMask, but instead you will have to connect your MetaMask on the OpenSea and you just simply click on the icon here, profile, and you'll be able to connect it. And then sometimes immediately, sometimes after a bit of a while, 
you will be able to see your NFT in your wallet. It won't reveal straight away, so you'll probably see some default JPEG or GIF uh, rather than the actual NFT. But once all NFTs within that project are sold, usually a couple of hours afterwards or sometimes a couple of days afterwards, all the NFTs will start revealing themselves. And then you can actually see which NFT you got. So that's a very short introduction to the process. There are probably some steps that don't make too much sense, like what are gas fees, what exactly is MetaMask, and so on. So I will put some links in the description and also I will put some videos at the end of this video so you can link through them and you can essentially go through it step by step. So in my other videos I, expect, I explain exactly what is MetaMask how, and I show you the process of setting it up. I have another video about gas fees where I explain exactly how they work and what to do to make sure the transaction goes through and so on. So you can find all the necessary information there, depending how you new you are to the space and which bits are not fully familiar. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.